This is still continuation of ethical and legal issues. This is about social networks and healthcare. Medical records are confidential. The client has the right to read the medical record and have copies of the record. Only staff members directly involved in care have legitimate access to a client's record. This may include primary health care providers and nurses caring for the client, technicians, therapists, social workers, unit secretaries, client advocates, and administrators, such as statistical analysis, staffing, quality care review. Others must ask permission from the client to review a record. For healthcare facility procedures, the medical record is stored in the records or the health information department after discharge of the client from the facility. Social networking and healthcare. Specific social networking sites can be beneficial to healthcare providers and clients, but misuse can lead to HIPAA violations and subsequent termination of the employee. Nurses need to adhere to the code of ethics, confidentiality rules, and social media rules. Standards of professionalism need to be maintained and any information obtained through any nurse-client relationship cannot be shared in any way. The nurse is responsible for reporting any identified breach of privacy or confidentiality. Information technology are computerized medical records. Healthcare employees should have access only to the client's records in the nursing unit or work area. Confidentiality or information security can be protected by the use of special computer access codes to limit what employees have access to in computer systems. The use of a password or identification code is needed to enter and sign off a computer system. A password or identification code should never be shared with another person. Personal passwords should be changed periodically to prevent unauthorized computer access. When conducting research, any information provided by the client is not to be reported in any manner that identifies the client and is not to be made accessible to anyone outside the research team. The nurse must always protect client confidentiality. Occurrence reports. It is used as a means of identifying risk situations and improving client care. When writing occurrence reports, follow specific documentation guidelines. Fill out the report completely accurately and factually. The report form should not be copied or placed in the client's record. Make no reference to the occurrence report form in the client's record. The report is not a substitute for a complete entry in the client's record regarding the occurrence. This means on top of the client's report or occurrence reports, the nurse still needs to write a nursing notes in the client's record. If a client injury or error in care occurred, assess the client frequently. The primary health care provider must be notified of the incident and the client's condition. Here are examples of occurrences that need to be reported. Accidental omission of prescribed therapies, 
circumstances that led to injury or a risk for client injury, client falls, medication administration errors, needle stick injuries, procedure related or equipment related accidents, a visitor injury that occurred on the healthcare agency premises, a visitor who exhibits symptoms of a communicable disease. Safeguarding valuables. Valuables should be given to a family member or secured for safekeeping in a stored and locked designated location, such as the agency's safe. Facility security may handle the safeguarding of valuables. The location of the client's valuables should be documented for agency policy. Many healthcare agencies require a client to sign a release to free the agency of their responsibility for lost valuables. A client's wedding ban can be taped in place unless a risk exists for swelling of the hands or fingers. Religious items such as medals may be pinned to the client's gown if allowed by agency policy.